to Minecraft where we are again looking at our base kind of doing our own thing um, so I showed you the platform the other day where our rooftop garden is going to be and that might need to be changed um, and the reason why that might need to be changed is because I came up with a build that's gonna be super sweet um, kind of the the start to our very real base and oh yeah doesn't look like much right now this is going to be the first um, I'd say decoration level so uh, the plan is to build a decoration level up at this level up at that level I should say um, this mountain might need to come down but we'll make a decoration at this level um, and then we're going to spiral staircase this all the way up do like I don't know three or four revolutions I think this first revolution is going to be just to the top of let's see where's the start it starts right here so this is going to be the start of the second of the first of the second spiral so second spiral is going to come up and then um, it'll be like four more and no three more on top of that um, before we get to the actual level that we're gonna we're gonna start building at so uh, I've got a feeling that that tentative uh, rooftop garden might not be all that uh, all that impressive in all honesty because this is going to be absolutely insane we've got a whole bunch of chords going on I kind of want to get to the start of this uh, to show you where we you know where everything's going to be placed we're gonna do torches on the inside um, these torches here should light the outside just enough for things not to spawn uh, so we're gonna to have to keep an eye on that but otherwise this is gonna be super cool I'm super excited for it uh, we're also gonna to have to put some walls coming down the side from the top from from that point somewhere like that so it's gonna come across and then down uh, covering up most of the stairway because uh, I don't want it to go underneath the stairway. We just want to we just want to kind of come to it and um, section it off so people aren't falling off the sides in this portion. The next portion is where we're going to start using fencing and stuff like that. But until then, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying a bit of a jumpy video today. But it should be should be sweet when it's all done so talk to you guys soon hello everybody welcome back we are finally back with um, Tazcraft and uh, well I mean you saw the beginning of this I put the first layer down and kinda still see it there uh, I got rid of this mountain because I, I had a feeling it was getting in the way and it totally was because well, BAM look at that looks fantastic right so this is going to be absolutely crazy. I'm, I'm going to love this entire thing. Oh, I'm falling down holes. I might have to even that out. But, uh... Oh, we are finally to the point where we can f put the, uh, the top layer on. So I originally was going to have this go up one more layer, like one full spiral. Uh, which I believe is... Um, so it's one, two, so it starts on one, two, three, four, five, six, it's like eight, like it's, it increases it by like eight, which like in total increases the whole thing by like 12, it's dumb. But, uh, anyway, since we have this all set up, I kind of got to the top and I was looking around and I'm like, this is super high up. So we're going to finish the, this off as the platform here. You can see this was a, oop, that was originally going to be my rooftop garden and that's going to be way too low now. So um, I'm going to connect this on over that way. We're going to see how that, you know, see how that looks and turns out. But uh, this is sweet. I'm loving it so far. I hope you guys are too. And uh, we're just going to put this final layer up here for us. And we'll be good to go. Um, let me know how you guys like this kind of build. Because this one's way bigger than what um, I've been doing in the past. And it's all these new things. You kind of have to have to judge if it is worth it I, 
like as much as I love it, I don't know if it's worth it. So uh, let's just let's just take a second, admire what we got so far, and then um, I'll put the top on it in just a second. Um, and I'll kind of go over what my design decisions were for each of these for each of the layers. So and I shouldn't say until next time. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello! Oh my god. Alright, you know what? No, no I, I came in. Holy cow, guys. I swear to god. I've been working on this st stupid staircase for so long. Um, I don't have a problem showing where this is because pretty much everyone knows because Hexter just put a video on it. Um, but, uh, I... Hold on. Let me, let me just... Let me just gather my thoughts here for a second. I ran the server out of quartz so bad. So I ended up coming over here and villager trading for about a day to try and get all the quartz because all the quartz is, it's gone. It, it's all gone. It's its just disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh my God, I'm gonna just fall in a hole because I'm, I'm that distraught. Um, and you kind of got a glimpse of it there. It wasn't fully loaded in. But. Oh, guys. We did it. <laughs> it's not done. Not done. Oh, my God. This was huge. And this, I, I actually made a couple compromises. The first one being it is exactly one turn shorter. Um, it was supposed to have another full revolution. I decided not to go that route uh, for obvious reasons. It was getting so tall. It actually wouldn't have cost too much quartz to make it taller. Most of the quartz obviously is in um, is in the platform itself. But let's let's take a let's take a stroll up there for a little bit. Um, but the the main problem with it was that it was just too darn tall. Um, so tall, we actually surpassed, we surpassed the, uh, the platform I originally set up for, uh, for our rooftop garden. So, I decided we got the full revolution in, we're gonna call it our little, our little wheel up here. Um, but, oh yeah, it is just perfect for what we wanted. Uh, I could have arguably added another one of those protrusions out on the backside, which I was really tempted to do. I might end up doing. I might end up doing that later. I don't know if that's going to be. But I don't think I'm going to put anything here for now. I want to focus on um, utilizing this mountain range. So now the question is: We got up here. What are we doing next? And actually. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to like revel in how absolutely insane this build was. Um, again, I bought out all the quartz in every store. Um, actually, I think I left like three stacks of regular quartz because they wouldn't have made quartz. Like I could have made like half a stack of quartz blocks anyway. But uh, I was getting just as much by villager breeding or the villager trading. So I thought that that was uh, good enough for now. But yes, I'm I'm hoping that this is kind of the the linchpin in a whole bunch of stuff we do later on. Uh, this build, I think the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go over this way, uh, build kind of an entrance to a building. I've got a feeling what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up like rafters. Um, I know that. Uh, it's just so high off the ground that it's probably best to run the building at ground level and then use this as like the top of the building. So we'll probably run rafters up here um, and we'll see about how we're going to run uh, run all the supports for that because I think the supports, uh, depending on which way we have it facing, the supports are either going to go off this side or this side. And I'm not sure which one would look the best, especially because, keep in mind, we're all viewing it from down there. So, uh, I think it might be best if we put the supports out this way. 
because then you kind of get you just look at the supports the entire time and that's going to be the main uh the main draw to the building so that is kind of where we sit i hope you guys are uh i hope you guys enjoyed the the kind of jump cutty different thing we did obviously we started off at the bottom and uh built it up from there so the main uh the main portion was just uh, realizing where each layer would stop. For example, the first layer. Um, so this is about where the um, where the original, yeah, that original decoration is, and then putting it up to the halfway point, about the halfway point, just under the halfway point with that, uh, and then calling that a section. So it was like what layer one. Layer one was up to the up to the start of that. Layer two is the end of this, and then layer three obviously goes all the way up to the top. And it was uh, it was it was an interesting build. It was definitely uh, it was one of those things that it could have definitely been easier if I decided to do the whole thing out of the out of the brick. But that was not what was gonna happen. Like there was no way I was gonna do this all in in the brick uh, because it, it would not have the same impact. And the way it the way it is now, I I don't think I'd sacrifice anything again. Like if I had to build this again, no sacrifices made. All quartz, just as beautiful as can be. And I think that this should be one of the one of the core parts of the server. I really do. I think this is one of the one of the big builds that just is not going to have um, that that's not going to get old. It's just one of those that uh, it just looks fantastic, and I feel really, really, really good about it. Now. Uh, there is one thing that we kind of have to look at, and that's kind of the surroundings. Um, for example, when I build the building here, there's it's definitely going to cut into the mountains, and um, and uh, that's going to kind of disrupt things a little bit. Not not about the tower, but uh, when it comes to the tower, we we got to put an elevator in. It's such a long walk up to the top. Uh, don't get me wrong, it looks amazing, but I can see how that would get old specifically for me. Um, although, maybe not. I do have access to all the fireworks from the... Uh, from, from Haxter's shop, because Haxter ended up doing pretty much all of that villager breeder section thing, so... Um, I know he said that it was it was a it was a collab, but I, I feel like he did so much with that. So, um, but I do have access to that with the end shop and stuff. So, oh, there he is. Uh, maybe maybe we'll figure out something to do. Uh, maybe we'll just keep the elytra on and just fly up there when we need to. It's not really that big of a deal, but still, I I want to make sure that people have easy access around this place uh, and. I think this has to lead to some sort of chest room. Don't get me wrong, I wanted to I want to set things up like rafters. Uh just to just because it's so tall and we're gonna have so much going on, but I do think that we, we're gonna have to make a chest room pretty much next build. And I don't know where I'm gonna build it, how I'm gonna build it, uh, but it needs to happen. I might just spend a few days uh, collecting resources, collecting more quartz, because I've, I've literally ran the server dry. <laughs> so that's probably going to be the the bulk of what's what's going to happen. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the aesthetic. Uh, there's more, way more coming down the line, but. See, that's that's kind of the question, right? So, um, obviously, this is Dark Souls. Um, the other, so I said that this could be like modern, postmodern, you know, very angular. Maybe, uh, 
maybe we do a uh, a combination thing where that's you know this is more of a Dark Souls tower like obviously this tower is based on a tower from Dark Souls maybe we should do like a Bloodborne themed something because um, they're they're very similar in terms of architecture but specifically Anne Orlando and uh, and the entrance area of Bloodborne but maybe maybe I, I, I might have some ideas I might have some ideas on how to make it that much more different um, specifically going more along the lines of um, maybe Nightmare Mensis something like that we could we have we have free reign that's that's the important part uh, I think that turned out great we need a place to put chests but yeah that's that's where we we're kind of gonna leave it off uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed if there is more things that you want to see done um, or like styles you want to see please let me know I'd love to hear your input um, also the um, I hope you didn't mind the the ruins from the last video I, I kind of just glazed over a lot of that with the tree in the middle in terms of the villager the villager trading area and stuff um, I still got to put a roof on that uh, it's not gonna be a full roof I'm just gonna put a little thing around the edge so spiders can't get in I think we lost one villager in there so oh more work to do more work to do but hopefully you guys enjoy oh man I haven't seen this in, I don't I haven't really looked at this at night this thing is just crazy at night especially with all the lights just lighting up the bottom kind of sweet but thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take it easy.